Let's talk about Williams, which is a documentary from Morgan Matthews, who made a, a feature film called X and Y a few years ago about this um, child prodigy math genius. He had also previously made a documentary on the subject and many other TV documentaries in the past. I believe this is his first documentary for cinemas. It's the story of the Williams Formula One team, who are a family operation founded by Frank Williams in 1966. And they have had wildly varied degrees of competitive success over the time since then. It's the kind of film that could have very, very easily felt like a corporate video. But the way in which Morgan Matthews has assembled so many different voices with unique and very tightly focused perspectives on the Williams story, it kind of feels more like a family sort of Jacobean saga of tumult and intrigue. You have the, the kind of official central interview with, uh, with Frank Williams himself, but there's also his daughter, Claire, who's now the deputy team principal, she is looking back through old family memorabilia and commenting on her own upbringing and how strange it is that she's, you know, one of the very, very rare women at the forefront of Formula One, but she is now in a pivotal position on that team. Uh, you also have Frank's late wife, Ginny, who talks through tape recordings that she made for an autobiography with a, with a ghostwriter at the time. And that is another completely essential voice uh, in, in, in this tapestry of voices. David Brody as well, a character that I wasn't familiar with at all. I think he was a racing driver. Um, but he is a raconteur with a very, very funny turn of phrase and is unapologetically a man of his time. And much more so than in uh, a fictional film like Rush, for example. You remember the Ron Howard thing about the James Hunt, Nicky Lauda feud. There is a sense of lots of big characters and big egos in play and at loggerheads for a lot of the time. There's an incredibly funny bubbling undercurrent of animosity towards Nigel Mansell, who also shows up. He was, of course, the, you know, the most famous Williams driver of them all. Um, he shows up, doesn't give, I have to say, a wildly charismatic interview, but the, the <laughs> stuff that other people say about him, it just kind of feeds into this idea of, you know, these are big 80s blokey egos clashing, clashing, clashing. You know, also, uh, Morgan Matthews has a tremendous eye for a great shot. The film opens with Frank sitting in his wheelchair and kind of listening to the roar of Formula One cars as if he's listening to music. And it ends on a shot that I believe is it's presented as if it was completely unstaged. Um, I believe it was completely unstaged. But you could not have staged a more perfect final shot for this film. It's not Senna, you know, it's not like uh, the Asif Kapadia documentary, which is completely the high watermark for that. I'm not someone who's interested in Formula One at all. And what Asif Kapadia got out of that story, it was this kind of, you know, mythic tragedy that he built out of these old clips. It's not quite on that level, but it is interesting, fascinating, really, whether you're interested in Formula One or not. I was really quite pleasantly surprised by this. Okay. 